the United States educational system is very decentralized. And it is also, therefore, highly politicized. School boards are elected. And elected officials are always looking over their shoulders to see who is voting. And as a result, in the United States, more than just about any place else, we have a school system which, um, in which the people responsible for major decisions are not always paying as close attention to the issues that those of us in education and science and other disciplines would like, but they are looking to see who is voting. The religious conservatives of Brian's day, back at, at the time of the Scopes trial, were focusing on natural selection, but much, much more so on the idea of common ancestry, because common ancestry really was very incompatible with the human exceptionalism ideas that were very central to their religious beliefs. Brian made three arguments during the Scopes trial. And when I read these in um, Ed Larson's book, many, many years ago, I was struck by how modern they were. Brian said that evolution is unsupported science. Scientists are giving up on evolution. Brian said that evolution is incompatible with Christian faith, and Brian also argued that citizens, not experts, should determine the curriculum. Those of you who follow the uh, science and uh, history standards wars in the great state of Texas might recall school board president Don McLeroy saying a couple of years ago when the science education standards were being developed, someone's got to stand up to experts. <laughs> so. Today, we find these same arguments. At NCSC, for years, we've called them the pillars of creationism, and I was struck by how well they reflect what William Jennings Bryan talked about in 1925. There are many, many euphemisms for this evidence against evolution approach. Critically analyze evidence for evolution as we saw in Ohio, evidence for and evidence against evolution, strengths and weaknesses of evolution that we argued ad nauseum in Texas, evolution is theory, not fact. I always say, well, of course evolution is theory. Theories explain facts. All the scientists chuckle. Uh, we don't have time to talk about that. Um, teach the full range of views about origins. Teach the controversy. All of these are euphemisms for creationism, believe it or not. Because all of these are ways of saying evolution is crappy science, bring in the evidence against evolution, and what that means is evidence for creationism. This is exactly how these people are looking at this issue.